Hello everyone, and today I have something a little different. Um, I'm in a server folder right now, as you can see. And what I have is a little script which I made. So what this does is it runs a server off Ramdisk. And in addition to that, it will automatically restart the server if it crashes or otherwise. And if you just want it to stop, just press Ctrl C. And the RAM disk is automatically created and detached after you're done. The uh, server is run in a screen session, which, so you can execute commands in a different window or something. And it will automatically do save all and then sync the world back to your hard drive every uh, set period of time. That's this section right here. And you can change the names of things like the RAM disk, the save folder, and the world, and the jar file. Uh, right, so let me just show you the script in action. So it's creating the RAM disk now. And then it copied the world over. Now the server is going to start. Just like that. And the server is running. Uh, I'm going to start Minecraft. So you can actually get this script off GitHub. I'll put the link in the description below. And there's also a bucket version. So the bucket version will be right here. So, this works pretty much the same way. I just had to change some things, like the uh, names of things, like the craftbucket.jar instead of minecraft underscore server. And also it has to sync more of the worlds. Uh, so there's world never and world the end, but otherwise it works in the same way. So let's just see the server. It is running, and we can just pop on. For some reason, a minecart a minecart sound plays every time I come on, but whatever. Here is the server, and I built a little monument thing here. Uh. And a little word about this server, it's not going to be public, this is going to be a private uh, testing server. So you might see me making videos here, but it won't be open to the public, so sorry about that. Uh, but who knows, I might set up a public bucket server. Oh, and there's the autosave, so we can just see console, and it did that automatically. Sometimes it does uh, save too early, I don't know why, but I guess it's not a problem, as long as it saves. Uh, right, let's just stop the server, so I can show you that it restarts. So it has a little countdown to cancel this press control C, but if you don't press it, it'll just restart automatically. So if your server crashes or something, that is very useful. And both the bucket and vanilla servers are here. Yes, I have to press download zip right down there to download these free files in a zip. Uh, right, so I'm going to show you that it the restart is working. And here we are again, and in the same location that we logged out. Uh, no. Let's just close that. And let me just show you how you can actually set this up. So if we go to, uh, if you have a server, uh, you first have to run the default uh, startup script one time. 
so it creates all the files, then you can replace it with this file, and then what you want to do is create a new server, I, I mean a new folder, I call it world-saves, and this is where you're going to keep your world in. So just move it, if you have a world file here, move it into that folder, and I'm going to get rid of this. Now what you want to do is create a symbolic link. So do go into terminal and do ln uh, dash s, then type in the name of your RAM disk. So do slash volume slash then your RAM disk name. And for me it's MC server dash RAM disk. Uh, then do slash your world name. So you set that here and in your server properties. And now you have to type in the directory of your folder. So for me it's that, then just press enter, it'll create the symbolic link, it'll drop it in to your folder, then you can exit out of terminal, and it should be set up. So all you have to do from then is just run the server using the script. And let me just go over all of these different variables. Round disk is the name of the round disk. If you change this, you're going to have to do that symbolic link again. Be sure to delete it, otherwise it won't work. Um, world saves is... Now, the save folder field is the name which you want your save folder to be. So it's world-saves for me. The jar file is the name of this file. Um, the world is your world name, which is world for me. rsync interval is the time in seconds between each autosave. RAM disk size is how big your RAM disk will be. And now you want to set it to bigger than this. I set it to 64, it's kind of overkill, but um, it's always good to set a big size so that you don't have to worry about changing it for quite a while. Allocated RAM is how much RAM you want to start the server with. Uh, I'd recommend you go for at least a gig. I put in 500 because it's really a small server and it's at most maybe three people at a time. Uh, restart delay is how long that countdown will be. Um, so that's pretty much it. This doesn't include a backup script so you're going to have to find one elsewhere, though I may make one. And I also might actually try to uh, make a script which automates the process of creating the symbolic link and setting up the server, uh, the save folder and stuff. So anyways, that was all for today. I will see you guys next time.